In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to show the images through the binocular. You can see here I've added this image uh, from the internet and I've changed the background to some blue background and then on both the lenses app, I'm showing some photo and when I click it will zoom. You can see here and then when I click it will change the photo, some other photo and you can just zoom in and zoom out like this and I've added one more image of a baby where you can zoom in and zoom out like this you can add multiple images and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to support my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and i'm going to insert a binocular image for that go to insert pictures select the online pictures and i'm going to type binocular Alright, and then depending on my requirement, I'll choose the slide. So I need this particular slide and click on insert. Once this is inserted, okay, it will be, it looks like this. Alright, so now what you can do is I'm going to add one background image for this one. So go to insert shape, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle covering the whole slide. Alright, shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to give a gradient fill for this for that right mouse click go to the format shape under fill i'm going to select the picture or texture fill click on insert online pictures and i'm going to type blue gradient this is my choice you can just change it according to your own requirement and i'm going to choose this image and click on insert and then send this to back all right the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this the lenses here for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select an oval shape draw an oval shape by holding the shift key and make sure that the selection should be the full lens all right you can see here the lens i've selected shape outline make it no outline then hold the control shift key and drag it to the the right lens okay and if you want you can just make it somewhat below and let me just make it somewhat transparent just to make sure that it is properly done i believe it's properly done now the next thing which i'm going to do as i said that the the lenses has to be removed so that the background should be visible for that let me just select the the binocular and then i'm going to select the shape the oval shape and this oval shape also let's try and whether it will work or not let me just see so shape format merge shapes i'm going to make it can you see here combine the moment i combine the background has been removed can you see here no more a lens all right then what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut the background from this also okay you can see here so let me just add two more rectangle two more oval shapes again all right you can see here again i'm just going to add one more oval shape shape outline no outline then bring it to the other side as well now i'm going to select the background then select this particular oval shapes go to the shape format merge shapes you can subtract it the moment you subtract it can you see here the from the background it has been gone okay so now let me just put it in the place now again i'm going to insert one oval shape maybe a somewhat bigger not a problem shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to add one more here and i'm going to select both go to the pictures click on insert online pictures and here i'm going to type any landscape photo example okay and i can just choose any landscape photo i want maybe i'm going to choose this one click insert you can see here the image has been added here and they send this to back so it looks something like this now again to arrange this one i'm going to select again you can see here let me just select this again go to the fill and fill and then here you can just change this one offset bottom i want like to make it more upwards you can see here then i would like to make it 
मोर लेफ्ट साइड या एंड देन वंस दिस इज डन आई एम गोइंग टू जूम इट ओके फॉर दैट गो टू दी एनिमेशन एनेबल द एनिमेशन पेन एंड देन एड एनिमेशन जूम श्रिंक एंड जूम कैन यू सी हर दिस वन अगेन इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन मेक इट मोर फास्टर राइट मॉज क्लिक अफेक्ट ऑप्शन दिस इज वन फिफ्टी इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन मेक इट ऑटो रिवर्स ऑल्सो स्मूथ एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन जस्ट एडजस्ट दैट वन क्लिक ओके सो इट गोज एंड देन इट कम्स बैक अगेन यू कैन सी हेयर सिंपल लाइक दैट नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डुप्लीकेट द स्लाइड राइट मॉज क्लिक एंड क्लिक ऑन द डुप्लीकेट स्लाइड एंड देन फॉर मी इट्स वेरी इजी आई एम गोइंग टू जस्ट चूज दिस वन राइट मॉज क्लिक फॉर्म एट ऑब्जेक्ट and i'm going to change the image to some other image maybe i'm going to choose a uh, one say a uh, girl small girl or a baby boy or baby girl or whatever baby girl let me just type and then i can just choose any image for example let me just choose uh, maybe this one and click insert the image of the baby as inserted now again you need to make sure that this is all zero and then make depending on your requirement you can adjust this one you can see here you can adjust this one depending on the requirement now if i play it goes and then it comes back again like this you can see here likewise if you want you can add as many images as you want